Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, a little down in the weather today. I woke up this morning with a migraine friggin' headache, so I laid back, chilled out, relaxed, but I took a couple Advils, a couple extra strength, and I kind of made myself kind of dizzy. I kind of overdosed on the old Advil, if you know what I mean. Leave your comments down below if you've ever done that. I was going to make a video for cooking, but Mel wanted to help me make my burgers. So we made ourselves some fresh burgers here we did. And how I did this was I used a little bit of Diana sauce, a couple eggs, a couple packages of maple, uh, maple um, friggin' oatmeal, a little bit of spices, a little bit of mix up, and that's about it. A little bit of sauces and we'll cook that up and we'll put it on the barbie and see what happens but on that note we're gonna light, light up the barbecue here get these burgers going so my igniter has had quick working actually so we're gonna use a manual one. Oh yeah it's freaking crisp out here today holy it's crispy i'd have to call that a crispy day today oh the knob is gone frick so we'll put that one on high oh there we go that was easy I cooked some chicken yesterday I did on the old barbecue, but today we're going to have our burgers, like I said, so just going to clean this off real quick. I'm off this week, I'm on holidays. My back's been bothering me again. Just getting older than dicks we are. So we're just going to take her easy this week and do stuff around the house. Just kind of chill out. So we'll get that barbecue up to par. Now that we got her cleaned up, we'll get the heat into her and then we'll cook up her salsa. Oh yeah, some fresh friggin' burgers we will. Friggin' right we will. But I painted the air breather today and I painted half the engine flat black just to see how it looks before I, uh, you know, spray her down. I just wanted to see, but it's gonna be fine flat black. But we'll get the breather done up, as you can see. And this and that, the other thing. Went down to Bry's last night, me and Bry, I covered my uh, uh, cup holder there. Bry had some extra black vinyl. So we vinyled her up. How's that look? Leave a comment down below if you like it. Leave a comment down below if you think I cocked it over. Why wouldn't you? Also, look what else came in. The inner fender wells. We've got the inner fender wells, so we're gonna get them in this week, hopefully. We gotta back the truck out and paint them though, because we can't put them in like that. We gotta paint them, because they don't put much paint on there. It's almost nighttime, and the burgers have been on for about six and a half hours. Check them out. Friggin' right, boys. Friggin' right, boys. <laughs> Burgers were friggin' awesome. Friggin' right they were. I was changing the spark plugs on the truck and I forgot to hit record on you, which is a rookie mistake and I haven't done that in a long time, so I can forgive myself. How about you? But you didn't miss much because I was just changing plugs. And of course, being in there, it's easy to get to. Plugs? Plugs. Friggin' right. Good old-fashioned V8s. It's one thing good about them. They're easy to work on. But I got the plugs out, they don't look too freaking bad. Just really dirty. They look like they were due for a change. They look a little cocked over, as you can see. So I'm glad I changed them. Also, uh, dipstick was leaking. I noticed it didn't have an O-ring on there, so we slapped an O-ring on that. We'll slip that dipstick back in, but I grind that down because there's some rust on it. And grind this and that and the other thing. And the alternator bracket, just to clean it up. Because even with an engine swap, I'm gonna be using them brackets anyways. I made this tool like years ago and I couldn't remember what it was for. And it worked great for number number four behind a header. That's what I made that for. It fits right in perfect into the socket in behind the header, boys. So I made that probably when I was 19 years old working on the old cutlass. If you don't have one of them, you need one of them for getting out number four skins behind a header, you do. And it works great. I almost threw that out one day and I thought to myself, I better not, Captain. Because I might need that for something. And sure enough, there it is. Well, I'll be dead. Brian texts me there and he says, I'm going to stop by the dirty old Bilsons and bring him a coffee. So we're just waiting for Brian to show up. I'm going to do a little wiping and this and that and the other thing. And maybe get the fender wells in this thing maybe this week sometime while I'm on holidays. We've got to back the truck out in the driveway so I can bring the fender wells in and paint them. Because i got enough shit all over this truck i got to clean off. It's going to take me months to bring this paint back because it's had rust sitting on it, dirt, everything else is just cocked right over. But look at the engine, it's getting there. That old girl's gonna be all right for the summer. Look how good that air breather looks. Well, I'll be damned if that's not looking like a new truck under there, almost. I'm just gonna flat black the motor like I said, after I power wash it and let her go for the year. 
We need to do a tune-up. We need to do an oil change in this too, but I forgot. I don't have an oil catch pan. I can't do an oil change tonight. I can't. But I did get my LC Delco freaking brake lines in for the old rear end, if you know what I'm saying. So we're going to get these in maybe this week while I'm on holidays too. I'm going to get this thing wrapped up before you know it. But I actually got the right ones because I looked them up. You know, it's funny how you can find the right parts when you look them up. But that's definitely the one I need. I hope. Sure it is. Looks good. Where's the bolts? There should be two bolts in here. Where'd they go? I dropped them. There's the arse. Hey. There they arse. We'll clamp the old zip ties there and we'll let this thing yawn a little bit. It needs to yawn a little. Get her straightened out. So we'll put that up here and we'll let it yawn. And we'll get the other one out of the box and let it yawn too. Because that's what I do. Oh yeah. There it is. Look at that girl. That's the one that goes on this side if you didn't if you're wondering. Hey? Okay. Just a little one. Oh yeah. Freak yeah. Ooh. Beautiful. But anyways, as you notice, I'm still in my PJs. It's been one of them days. Saturday. Haven't left the house or the garage. So what the hell? You don't need to get dressed if you're not going anywhere. That's what I say. And if you're just tinkering in the garage with a rig, if you have a favorite rig, leave a comment down below and let me know what it is. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to uh, make sure you get 100 likes. I appreciate it. My goal is to try to get 100 likes. Last video there is moving slow. I don't know why. I don't know if it's my thumbnail and people think it's a review video or what, but it's moving a little slow. It wasn't a review video, so go watch it. Frig. Sure, it's LEDs, but it's... I'm not promoting them because I, I bought them. So go watch that last video. Hope everyone's having a good day like I am. Like I said, I'm pretty much wound down for the day. Not doing a whole lot today, but we got lots to come this week. So stick around. Glad you're all here. Welcome any new subscribers. And until next one, love you. And you know what to do for now.